Hi, the junior message this week is can I and it's an acronym that stands for constant and never ending improvement and it's probably best described by uh, this quote which is stop trying to become better and you'll never stop being good. So for the mini warriors I started to explain to them uh, a little bit about the warrior and Krav Maga. So I was explaining you know if the warrior stopped improving and stopped trying and stopped doing his best he wouldn't keep grading and, and work towards becoming an expert and black belt in Krav Maga. And part of our warrior's code is to train to the best of your ability. So we always need to recognize that improvement is always important. And I'd say to the kids, you know, the warrior always recognize, well, I did a really good job here with this block, uh, but where can I get a little bit better? And he was always looking at how he could train better and become uh, more efficient and improve on his moves and then that's why he became a warrior. With the older kids, uh, the little warriors and warriors, we started to talk about um, Henry Ford and I started to talk about, I asked the kids, have you heard of this uh, car before, the Ford car? And of course everyone knew of it and I explained to them that Henry um, is an amazing person if you as an adult explore some of his uh, adventures and some of his quotes and um, explore uh, the challenges that he had and the challenge that he had was um, back when cars were invented obviously they were only for extremely wealthy people so he wanted to uh, create a car that could be afforded uh, by anyone so he worked really hard and he created a production line and he um, revolutionized obviously the car industry with creating a great car uh, some people might question that uh, but a great car that was affordable for everyone and I know some people are holding people not Ford people which is fine whatever car you enjoy driving but back to the point um, Henry's quote was he was happy but not satisfied so he was always happy with his staff and obviously happy with people and their progress but he was never satisfied he was always working on tweaking something he was always working on how could I make this a little bit more efficient so then I'd ask the kids, you know, how can you take this trait of being happy but not 100% satisfied and translate that into your Krav Maga training or translate that in your academic life or your home life where you're not going to say, well, that was okay and yeah, I'll just move on. I need to sort of work out how can I do this a little bit better and have room for improvement because as soon as you stop realizing that there's no room for improvement, you stop growing and growth is so important. So I, as an adult, you know, we need to recognize that the biggest room for improvement is everywhere. You know, we always need to have that constant improvement. It's the biggest room in the world is to constantly improve. So some of the questions that I ask the kids, um, you know, if you had a challenge is, you know, how can I do that faster? Whether it be your homework or Krav Maga, how can I do it more accurately? Um, what's a better way of doing it? Um, how can I do it with more fun? you know and, and look at you know Henry Ford for, for instance and how he did things differently so this week what I'd like you to do with the kids is have a chat about obviously the constant and never-ending improvement and then more importantly the task I want you to do is find three things I ask the kids to do uh, that they don't like doing and figure out a better way that they can do them so they can sort of think about well what are three things that I really don't enjoy doing and what's a better way that I can do it so I can improve on that aspect of my life. Okay, I will see you in class and enjoy that task and message with the kids. See ya, bye.